up, yo? Oh, my mind. Hey, what's up? How's school hey. going? Y'all ready for it? Uh, uh, not really feeling it, you know? Yeah. Hey, Officer Keys, what's up? Not much, how about you? Not much going on. Is Blanchard here, do you know? No, he's not here, he got fired. Wait, what? but what? who's that? What, wait, what? It's Blanchard. Oh, oh my god, god Blanchard. That? There's something rotten in the school of Grimsley. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I know many of you miss Blanchard, but this year you have me. And I look forward to working together to make this school year the best that Grimsley has ever had. Worley Nation, stand up. Good morning, all of you. As your new principal, I'm looking forward to working with you this year. Mr. Albert, how are you doing? I am ambivalent, as I am missing ample amounts of time to practice my amazing ass moves. Now, I don't know what you still have for those this year, but I guess I'll let you teach AP Literature. Thanks, Doc. Now, as your new principal, I think we really need to work to change the school, to adapt the school. Don't you mean adapt to the school? I think he means adapt this school. He means to take the school, the school that was working perfectly under Principal Blanchard. He means to change the school for the worse. Now, now, Moody, calm down. I know you miss Blanchard, but with a new staff, we'll have to change the school. And I think you staying here would be the best course of action. Our school needs you. All right, Principal's best for the school. I'll stay. Good. I look forward to leading you this year. Oh God, do I hate it here. I wish I could just leave or quit. We're gonna see this become much like this garden, overflowing with vile, and its ivy students are the worst. Oh course, why must you side with the villain? Frailty, thy name is Michael. Oh, what's up, Keys? Nothing much, just another fight in the hallways. Uh, more importantly, I saw Blanchett at the game. Oh, dang. You know what aggravates me? What, when students don't know their sound devices? That, and we don't get paid enough. We do too much here. I'm sick and tired of it. Uh, you could probably get moody on it. He helped you with that book dessert project right here. I don't know why anyone would want to eat a book, but whatever. Just get your mafia connections on it. I'll talk to Vinny, Vinny, and Vinny. You'll talk to money, money, and money. <laughs> or maybe uh, Tony Spagoni. I don't care what anchovy spaghetti you get. Just get your Italian connections on it. <laughs> hey, what quarter is it? Fourth. We're about to lose again. Typical. It's not our first and won't be our last loss. Why do they always chew that? It's a custom. That's a weird custom. Oh, dude, look, it's Blanchard. Yo, I gotta go. Don't leave. What is it, Charles? Why are you here? I can't be here much longer, but I had to let you know the truth. I was fired so Dr. Miller could take my place. You have to make him quit so I can come back. Adieu, adieu, adieu. Remember me. Moody, Moody, did you talk? I cannot say. Please, please, you must swear upon my walkie-talkie that you will not tell anybody about tonight. I swear. Eh, what's up, Saunders? Got that raise yet? No, Moody's gone mad. Mm, probably because you've been pestering him so much. I don't think it's that. Eh, it is. What did he say to you? Well, I was grading some homework, and he came in, grabbed my arm, and said, You ain't getting no raise. I haven't been threatened like that since before I joined the Mafia. Ah, uh, alright. I'll let Dr. Miller know about this. It's getting crazy. Good morning, good morning, and yes, good morning. Alright, Mr. Glazers and Peoples, I know you guys watched the student parking lot during lunch, okay? But Mr. Miller's been acting a little strange, and I know he's out there sometimes, so I'm gonna need you guys to keep an eye out and see if anything strange going on. Can you let me know? Yes, sir. Thank you. Larry. Coach Newman, he's come back from the athletic department meeting. He said Paige is going to try to put in their second string players against us. Oh, that's some good news. Might give us a chance this year. But on a more important note, so Moody's been acting a little strange. Have you noticed that? I think it's the pay raise we saw in once. Uh, I don't know, but that's probably it. We can go high out in the grove and have Miss Saunders confronted about the pay raise. That's a great idea. Oh, wait. Here comes Moody Courts. Let's go. Hey, Moody. 
what's going on. Larry, now's not a good time. I don't need to know about the Articles, articles of Confederation right this instant. Someone's a little bit moody. Words, words, words. Oh, Mr. Blaze, Mr. Blaze, sorry, I'll do it today. For a while, uh, I know it must be pretty hard on Mr. Blanchard and you know, and it's messing Miss Saunders, too. You know, I believe Dr. Miller thinks I'm more upset than I actually am, but that's okay. I you know I'm really excited for that prep rally today. You know, those are always fun. Hey y'all, it's time to get peppy. Ah. Alright everybody, settle down. Thank you all for being here today. I'm glad to see everyone. We've gotten off to a great start of the school year. And let's keep up the hard work and keep up the success. And of course, go early! Ah. Alright, that went pretty well. Ooh, I have an idea that'll make Dr. Miller sweat. I'll get the Weaver kids to put on Hamlet. It's just like how Dr. Miller stole Principal Blanchard's job. It's the perfect plan. This mood is getting quite obnoxious. Mr. Glaze, what have you found out? He seems very out of it. But I do know he really wants you to go see the Hamlet play that the Weaver kids are putting on. Yep. So I'm thinking you should probably go to that. I think I just may. Uh, I think we should hide and see what he has to say. Kathy, you hide, but then go talk to him, all right? All right. To quit or not to quit, that's a doozy. This whole school seems out to get me. First I get one black guy and then another. What did I ever do to deserve this? I can't believe I got an administrative degree. But if I were to quit, what would I do then? Mr. Moody, how are you? You seem down lately. I just want to thank you one more time for helping me with my bookshelf project. I didn't build your bookshelves. All you teachers are only thinking of yourselves and always messing things up. One may smile and smile and be a villain. Get thee to scales. I cannot take this school anymore. The students, the teachers, I can't handle it. I'm out. By God, I think this raise has made Moody gone insane. No, no, it's not the raise that's making Moody crazy. I have seen him keep his cool in a cafeteria fight, and I've seen him get furious with students. This race can't be it, but he frightens me. Idle hands are the devil's work, and I say that to keep him occupied, we should send him on a vacation. All right, vacation may be a good idea, but I don't think that's the point of this insanity. I think we should go to send him to Quartz's room, and I'll hide behind the maps to see what's really going on. Great idea, Larry. I can see why they pay you the big bucks. All right. Now I watch and wait. If Dr. Miller so much as bats an eye, I'll know who got Principal Blanchard fired. Lights off. This play's over. Blaze, Peoples, mm -hmm. I'm really concerned that he's going insane, all right? And I'm gonna need you to, because he's going on vacation soon, to, uh, you know, keep track of him. Make sure he's doing everything right, all right? And I need you to make sure that uh, he doesn't misbehave, okay? Anything for you, Dr. Miller, will start packing right away. That's right. Nah. Hey, Dr. Miller, just wanna make sure this fine thing is okay. Oh, okay. You'll be the first one to know about it. It is a-okay, dude. Keep up the good work, all right? Uh -huh. How can we get him fired right now? All he's trying to do is make him seem to a school of excellence. And if I did, none of the teachers would support me. But soon, soon I'll get the snake. But he has to be on one of his infantile tirades. Uh -huh. So Dr. Miller called Mr. Moody on his radio to come up here, and you need to find out why he's acting so crazy. I'm going to hide behind the maps and try to snoop. Sounds good. I hear him coming. Why am I here? I have 30 other things I could be doing and 20 kids I could be putting in SI right now. Your principal doesn't feel accepted by you. Your principal doesn't feel accepted by you. If anything, you have offended by following Dr. Miller so quickly. I should have you fired. No! Uh, my 
gout get to me back here. Larry, are you stupid again? Oh. You know what? You're fired. No, I'm fired. Hamilton shall be my deathbed. What do you think of firing Larry? Larry in his snooping ways it was bound to happen eventually. His loyalty to Blanchard was paper thin, and to have so easily accepted Dr. Miller's new principle, you should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, Blanchard, how I've missed you so much. What the hell? Remember that you want to get Dr. Miller fired, not fire teachers. Avenge me and get him fired. Make sure you tell Corpse what you see so he knows you're not going insane. I didn't know they would fire you. I'm so sorry. You were like a father to me. Moody, who in the hell are you talking to? I have to go now, Moody. I'll try to be back soon. Wait, don't go. This man is literally more insane than Kaiser Wilhelm. God damn it. Lifetime's on in half an hour. I'm out. Man, I miss Blanchard and his soup can ways. But it's alright. Dr. Miller won't be here much longer. I'll get him transferred. Ice chemistry, biology, aluminum, FE, platonic mass of carbon, and Of course. What's wrong? There's a frantic look to you. I need to speak to the principal alone. Go find Moody and figure out why Larry left. Science. Oh, science. Moody has gone insane, just like a whirly. Larry has even left because of him. Hmm. Maybe we should send him off to teach a workshop at, uh, Northern. Maybe he'll get distracted there and end up working there. Fine, fine. Let's just get it done. Ah, good. Larry's gone now. Oh, who's that? What did you do, man? Why did Larry leave? He's at Hamilton Lakes where he desires to be. Don't lie to us. He loved Crimson. Bet, you sponge. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I plan to send Moody to Northern. He'll end up working there for sure. The lazy people can escort him. Moody, where is Larry Williamson right now? Did he quit? I fired him for not minding his own business, that's why. Now he's working at Hamilton Lakes for the winter. If you don't tell me the truth, I'm sending you to a teacher workshop. Sounds good to me, I like workshops. All right, Maggie's pick it up. Two more times. Oh, it's the page coach. Good sir, what are you doing here? Well, we're just here to recruit at Brooks Global Elementary. Why? They're in elementary school. They won't have any football players. It'll help us in the wrong, long run. Keep it going. Come on. Come on. Wow, so motivated. Coming out here and recruiting at Brooks. It's so unlike me, though. I have so many worries and concerns. But I vow I'll come back to Grimsley and restore order and avenge Principal Blanchard's firing. By God, Doctor, now she's gone crazy over Larry leaving. Oh God, here she comes now. Miss Saunders must have gone crazy. She must have found the Pope and the pizza. I work on service hours, get moody or dressed before my powers. I ask him for a raise, but get quickly fired in the heat. But not me, not yet. <sighs> No, it was Moody. He's the reason this happened. You and me, we can work together. Let's plot to get him fired. Alright, I got my eyes on you. Guys, 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 guys. I got this letter from the ambassador bound for Northern. Officer Keys, on the way to Northern for my workshop, my bus was boarded by Northwest Vikings. They were bringing me back to Grimsley thinking they will get ransom in the form of us forfeiting our tennis match. I will fix Grimsley for good. Moody. Yo, isn't it crazy that even after all she did to get that raised, Miss Saunders is still getting transferred to Paige? That's what I'm saying. But she was so important to the district that Admin couldn't fire her. Yeah, I mean, but like she said, she wouldn't even work without that raise. I mean, you can't blame her. She's just trying to feed her family. I guess, but, you know, she was trying to fight against the system, so she should have been fired, you know? That's true, that's true. Hey, officer, what are those bus drivers doing? I don't know. It looks like they're throwing out papers or something. I don't like the look of this. Let's check this out. Hey, what are y'all doing? Bus drivers never clean their buses. We're cleaning out this bus for a special rider. Who could be so important that they have to ride by themselves? I know, but the principal usually knows know who, who gets fired. What could a teacher possibly do to get transferred to a school immediately? Man, I don't know, but here come Dr. Miller, Course, and Mr. Albert with that special rider. Oh, 
Hey, that's Mr. Albert. What could he possibly be doing over here? I never even liked your bookshelves. This is your fault. You're sending her away from us. You can't send her to Paige. Wait, 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 wait. You can't send her away. She's the best teacher we have. You lying buffoon. This is also your fault. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Moody, we will have none of this nonsense here. Whatever. <laughs> no, no, Mr. Albert, it's okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. We can team up together and we can get rid of Moody, okay? Okay. okay. Courts. I need you to keep an eye on Moody, or find someone to, alright? That's your job. Alright. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening! <laughs> right, so tonight's gonna be the best game the Royal Nation has ever seen, alright? Word is, Paige Principal is putting in their sub. Oh, no, no. I'm going with it, alright? So we're gonna take that dub. It's gonna be something nice. Hey man, my money's on Grimsley. Nah, bro. Paige all the way. Dude, we just scored another touchdown. We're up. Man, I want to be too sure if Paige about to play their stars. Hold up. That's not cool. That's foul play. And that's another touchdown for Paige's Seymour Butts. And that brings the final score to 70-14, Paige. Let's go, Pirates. Man, screw this. I'm out. I'm out, Saunders. Here I come. Damn, it's colder than you on I'm going to go rewatch Battle of the Bastards in 4K. Man, I'm out too. Moody, wait. I'll go with you wherever you go. Wherever. Man, I don't know you like that, but you need to stay here. The new Grimsley principal is coming from Paige, and you need to show him around. Okay. Whatever you say, Moody. All right. Cool. <laughs> hey, where's Dr. Miller? I wouldn't know. Everyone except me just quit. Do you want to be a new principal? Can I ride my golf cart in the hallways? Honestly, I, I couldn't care less. Oh, sweet. Hey guys, let's go put some banners up of the old administration in case anyone asks about honoring their past works. Maybe somewhere like first floor vacational. And maybe uh, we should make a plaque for that moody guy. Put somewhere like second floor old science. This school's gonna have some new changes. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Good evening! Good evening! <laughs> Good evening! <laughs> <laughs>